Most businesses and organizations rely on computers to keep things running smoothly. That's why computer systems analysts are some of the most valued employees in companies today. Sometimes called systems architects, these analysts design the computer systems that best meets an individual company's needs. This may involve upgrading an existing system or creating a new system from the ground up. So analysts need to be very familiar with computer hardware and software. Once a system is in place, the analyst runs tests and troubleshoots problems. Analysts work with computer programmers teaching them the new system. We've had a couple alerts off of this T1. We probably want to check this out later today. Beyond right. technical knowledge, being able to work with others and to communicate clearly are required skills for this job. Computer systems analysts mostly work a 40-hour week, but they may be on call around the clock, especially in the early stages of a system's use. Working at a computer for long hours can cause eye strain and repetitive motion injuries that affect the back, wrist, and hand. However, there are ways to avoid these problems. While some employers will accept a two-year college degree, many prefer a bachelor's degree. They look for studies in computer science, information science, or management information systems. Computer technology is a constantly changing field, requiring continuous study to keep one's skills up to date. It is also one of the fastest growing areas. For computer systems analysts, the job opportunities are hotter than ever. John? No database impact whatsoever. Information is power. The more information a company's employees have, the better decisions they can make. But for information to be useful, it must be accessible. That's the job of computer and information systems managers. All right, any other updates? They're often referred to as IT people for information technology. Thanks, Bob. I IT managers keep computer systems working properly and efficiently. They meet with employees to determine a company's computer needs and then work with senior management to put in place the resources to meet those needs. IT managers estimate budgets for projects such as installations or hardware and software upgrades. These managers develop computer networks and set up internet or intranet sites. They keep an eye on future needs too, developing backup and recovery systems and planning improvements. There are gigabytes, even terabytes of details to keep track of. They oversee training programs and handle technical problems, often under high stress. Even a brief system failure can have a major impact on productivity. The day is usually spent in a comfortable office environment, and while the job tends to follow regular business hours, depending on the employer, evening and weekend work may be required. Though a college degree is expected, this position requires a proven track record in a related occupation, such as systems analyst or computer programmer. Some IT managers hold advanced degrees and certificates or specialize in specific operating systems and administrative areas, such as security or web hosting. Many work as consultants. Because technology changes so rapidly, these workers are constantly retraining. If you love the challenges of keeping pace with computer technology, power up to a career in IT. From controlling the flight plan of a jumbo jet to investigating microscopic genes, computers are constantly changing the way we live our lives. And computer and information scientists who conduct research are on the leading edge of these changes. Working in offices or laboratories, they are like explorers searching for new ways to use computers to meet needs. This work requires a great deal of knowledge about both computer theory and application. Most computer and information scientists have at least an associate degree, many have doctorates. And in the fast-growing field of computers and information technology, these scientists are in demand both by the government and private industry. The workplaces are usually comfortable. However, back discomfort, hand and wrist problems, as well as eye strain can occur over time due to sitting for long periods at keyboards and computer screens.
The typical work week is 40 hours, although evenings or weekends may be needed to meet deadlines. Technology is also making it increasingly possible for scientists to work from remote locations, such as from their homes. The research done by computer and information scientists is invaluable. Without their contributions, computers would be little more than useless boxes with blinking lights.